last 16 sickle is the very first weapon you can unlock in the brand new Cutting Edge Warbond. The Warbond itself will set you back 1000 super credits, while the gun, a meagre 20 medals, so it's very easy to access even for newer players. The good news about this is, well, you're about to see. I was live streaming as we tested this gun for the first time and it really caught me off guard. As usual, we'll be putting it through our trials and tribulations against an array of terminated and automaton units. This is one of only three weapons in the energy subcategory of primary weapons, one of which is already pretty great, and another of which is... very much not that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just- So, where will the LAS-16 fit in? Let's check it out. The LAS-16 Sickle is a laser rifle, firing in short bursts. It does not need reloading, but if it overheats, a new heatsink must be fitted. This means that if you're economical with your shooting, you can get through missions where resupplies and ammo boxes are hard to come by. It has a damage of 55, fire limit of 9, recoil of 2, yes, you heard right, it basically has no recoil, and a fire rate of 750. It's light armor penetrating and heat based, which is of course why it has theoretically infinite ammo, and of course is affected by the temperature of the planet where you're operating. It will overheat faster on hot planets, while overheating slower on the cold ones. Easy. So what's in the reload menu? Well, this is a completely new one. The menu allows you to adjust its aim down sights to three different levels of zoom. The default is 25 meters, and it will allow switching zoom to 50 and 100 meters respectively. I recommend 50 for most engagements for its level of accuracy. Wow, okay, it's a quasi-sniper, that's sick. It has six quote-unquote mags, not including the one presently in the gun. If you're sparing with your ammo, you can absolutely make it infinite, but much of the time when you're bogged down in combat, it's easy to blast away and reload rather than wait for the heat to come back down, especially on the more hellish planets. What are you meant to do with this? Like, I'm in literal hell! It has a spool-up time of around one second, so it doesn't fire immediately. You have to predictively spool it up before you intend to start shooting. The gun makes quick work of all light terminated units, and is especially great for tracking hunters quickly. Oh, oh, that's satisfying. That is satisfying, bro. That's so satisfying, dude. Oh, man, come on. Come on, that's satisfying. On the automaton side, it completely wipes the floor with foot soldier units. In what a terrible gun. While it can't penetrate the frontal armor of hive guards, it's actually extremely adept at shooting the gaps between it and melting the guards that way. Mm, sorry. really good at shooting through the nooks and crannies in its armor. While I wouldn't say it's necessarily better than a frontal assault with something like a slugger, it can definitely work its way through these units. I keep expecting like pew pew lasers. Oh, it doesn't penetrate hive guards, does it? It can also take out bile nurses and spewers reasonably well with direct headshots, though I would avoid the bile sacks as they're simply ammo sinks. The real magic is how it handles Devastators. Oh! <laughs> Look at me. Oh! God! Oh, sorry, I was so excited I forgot to shoot the reinforcement guy. <laughs> Bro. Get, get fucked. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Oh! No way, dude! Don't tell the devs. This didn't happen. You didn't see that. No, nobody saw that happen. Uh, it's not a thing. It's fine. It's middle of the road. It's average. We're of course going to pair this rifle with the other current meta options currently available in future stress tests, so make sure you're subscribed not to miss them. Due to the channel skyrocketing in popularity, less than 3% of you guys are currently subscribed, so you're not getting notified when we drop these. That said, you have to aim for the Devastator's face. Otherwise, the gun does virtually nothing to them via body shots. It's exciting. It's a rocket devastator too. The dick of dicks. Nah, 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 nah. Am I staggering it? Bro, look at me. Bro, look at me. I'm the captain now. So only load out with the LAS-16 if you're fairly confident with your aiming. At ranges beyond 50 meters, the gun's innate bullet spread makes it difficult to consistently hit face shots. Oh. 
Oh, I really wanted to get him. I really, really wanted to get him. I really, really want to get him. Damn. Damn. I really wanted to get that guy. Nah, it's not accurate enough at um 60 meters. Nah, it's not accurate enough at this range. So this is an area where it's fantastic to supplement with an anti-material rifle. So we know how the gun deals with lights and mediums, which is great, but how about heavies? Well, a frontal assault against the Hulk goes pretty much exactly as you'd expect. No. You saw the test here, ladies and gents. Doesn't work. With striders, unless you're able to flank them, it's a no-go. It simply lacks penetration. Nah, gotta shoot it in the legs. Not good against striders. Can confirm, not good against striders. Always supplement this gun with a support weapon like the anti-material rifle to make short work of the heavier units. The real joy of this gun is the low recoil. Not only can it shoot with extreme accuracy to around 50 meters even while you're standing upright, it's very light and can track annoying faster units like hunters without issue. Like this thing is just, it's a G. While it can also melt units like stalkers if you aim for the face, the spool up time makes it somewhat prohibitive if you don't want the stalker to send you sprawling with its tongue. Why is it not shooting? Why is it not shooting? Shoot! For utility purposes, the gun takes just over one full mag, or cell, in order to take out a spore spewer at long distance. Ooh. Can it do it in one mag on a cold planet? It cannot. It cannot. In terms of shooting weak spot vents on heavies such as annihilator tanks or stationary turrets, well, I have some bad news for you Scorcher mains. Oh dear. Let's try it out, boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was doing nothing. I absolutely love this gun. More so for the bots than the bugs, but I always load out with an anti-material rifle these days to handle the heavy armor units, so its lack of armor penetration is not that much of a concern for me. So long as you load out around its shortcomings, you'll be golden. I still need to test it directly against the slugger to be sure, but this could be my new go-to primary for automaton missions. I love not needing to worry about ammo and the speed at which it dispatches foot soldier units, all while being extremely viable against devastators to mid-range. All in all, an A to S tier primary for me, and combined with the stun grenade alone makes a new war bond well worth it. On that note, let me know down below if you want a review of the stun grenade, in my opinion, the single best thing to come with this new warbond. See you next time.